Hey guys, it's Jay Nero BHA here bringing you a new video. So the great folks over at Barrows have sent me over another great product to show you guys. So today we're going to be taking a look at their all new MTS 300 smart thermostat. And not only is it a smart thermostat, but it is a matter enabled smart thermostat as well. And this thing looks pretty cool. Of course, it has all of your standard features like a scheduling when you're away you can obviously control it from the app itself but because it's matter enabled you'll be able to control it from things like home assistant or apple home kit as well and then of course it's a wi-fi matter enabled thermostat so you'll be able to control it with even alexa and google home so with all those cool abilities and its sleek cool design this thing's worth checking out here we go So you're going to be able to pick this thing up straight from Maros's website for about 70 bucks. $69.99 is the going rate currently. And interestingly enough, if you go to Amazon's website and check out Maros's storefront, it's actually a little bit higher, running in at about $81, $82. So you're probably going to want to stick with buying it directly from Maros. Now, one thing you do need to keep in mind is if you have an older home, or maybe you haven't already upgraded to a newer style thermostat, you will need to use the C wire, which some older thermostats may not have. They do make an adapter, so if you don't have one, don't fret. They do have adapters that you can get uh, to give the additional power needed with that C wire. But we're gonna dive right in, see what all we can do with it, see if we can get it added into Apple Home Kit and Home Assistant. Let's get started. So let's get this box opened up here. So you can see we got basic info on the outside of the box. Uh, man, it looks pretty nice. Uh, but if we slide the lid up here, right there on the top, we got the instructions for getting this uh, thermostat set up and kind of added to the Maros app. Next up, we got the thermostat itself. Now my hands aren't super big, so you can see this unit is a pretty small form factor unit, but I think it's still gonna be pretty easy to get set up. Let's see what else we got here. So we got stickers for labeling the wires, uh, which really just helps with the installation especially if you aren't using standard colors or maybe you know you had to swap up your colors a little bit on the wires you want to make sure that you have them labeled so you get the wires plugged in in the right spot here's the piece that everything connects to so this is kind of the wiring harness so to speak all the wires will connect here and then of course the unit actually plugs in here as well And then we got the mounting screws and then also a mounting bracket as well. And just to kind of show you what it's gonna look like, you can see the unit just kind of sits right on top of that mounting bracket, gives it a nice little uh, clean install, a white border around it, so it looks really nice. That's everything that you get inside the box itself. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get this thing installed. So for me, I'm going to be replacing an existing smart thermostat that you can kind of see here. I have an older Honeywell thermostat, um, which it's still a really good unit, but it is definitely a few years old. So it will be nice to get a newer thermostat in there. And even better, this new one will support matter. So the first thing we need to do is remove the existing thermostat. And you can see in this clip, it's all removed. I already pretty much had my wires labeled. I did go ahead and take a picture before disconnecting just to be safe. Uh, so I kind of know where each of the different wires were plugged into on the old thermostat, which will help me get it set up on the new thermostat. But this still should be pretty simple. Next thing we need to do is add the mounting bracket and the wiring harness. And as you can see in this clip with all the wires connected, we are good to go. It's nice that the wiring harness has the level built into it as well to ensure that you mount the thermostat level and it looks all nice and neat. 
But once we have all the wires connected in, last thing we need to do is just attach the thermostat. And if all goes well, you should see something like this. So the unit is getting power, it's all lit up, and it's basically in pairing mode waiting to get added to the Meros app. So we're good to go here on the installation. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get it added into the Meros app. So getting devices added to the Meros app is pretty simple. It's the same basic principle for most of these smart home apps. Uh, so we hit the plus in the top corner, and since our device is already in pairing mode, it sees it pretty much automatically. Uh, so we will hit add here, and now we need to identify what wires we have connected. So I have pretty much the standard wires that you need for any kind of newer style thermostat. I have my C wire, the G wire, Y wire, W, and the R wire. So I got to select all those there and then I'm going to hit next. Now it asks if I have forced air or radiant air. So I will select that here and hit next again. We'll give it a second to make the connection. And now we have our instructions for basically adding our matter device. So we need to make sure that our phone is on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi because it won't work on 5 gigahertz. And then of course we also need to make sure that the network that we're wanting the device on is the same network that our phone is on. Once we have all that, then we need to scan the QR code, which can be found on the instruction manual. And then you just kind of go through and follow all the steps. We'll give it a little bit of time to get set up. And we're done. We can change the name if we want. I'm gonna call it Marrow's Thermostat. We will hit done here. All right, so it says we are getting closer. It says we are almost done. And there it is. Congratulations, we're done. Looks like we have our Maros thermostat added into the Maros app. It's as simple as that. At this point, we are ready to move on to the next step and we will go over configuration options available to you in the app. So let's take a look at everything that you can do in the app. Uh, so here we are on the main screen for the thermostat and you can see right there at the top, it shows the current temperature in the house as well as the current humidity. Now in the middle is that big dial for controlling the temperature and what you want to set it to. And you can see I have it in auto mode. So it basically has a temperature range uh, that I want it to stay at and it will turn on the air conditioner or heater as needed to reach that temperature. So that's pretty cool. And as far as the modes go, you can adjust that between heat only, cool only, auto, or just turn it completely off if you needed to. Below that, we can create schedules if we want. So maybe we want it to uh, be a certain temperature during the day and a different temperature in the evening. We can do all that with schedules. In the middle, uh, there is your presets. So if you have certain settings that you like for certain things, maybe you like a certain temperature for when you sleep, you can create a preset for bedtime. Now you can see by default, it has these three presets already made and they can be adjusted as well, or you can just create your own. So that's pretty cool. This last button over here is the fan mode. So you can have it set to auto, which is what you normally want, or hold, which means it will ignore the HVAC calls to turn it on. Not sure why you'd wanna do that, but you can. So if we go into settings up at the top corner, you can change the icon there at the top if you wanted to, as well as change the device name. If you had a specific room that it was in, you can assign that uh, room as well. Under linked services is where we're going to go to associate it with like Apple HomeKit or even Home Assistant. Uh, basically anything that we want to do via Matter. Uh, this is where we will do that and we of course will take a look at that later in the video. Under notifications is where we can enable, disable system notifications as well as filter life and even malfunctions with the unit itself. Under schedules, we talked a little bit about that earlier, but you can see you can set it daily, weekly, however you prefer to set it up. 
uh, so it's got a lot of configuration there. Under fan settings is where you can set the minimum operating time for the fan. Again, not sure that I would want to adjust that since, you know, usually you just allow the HVAC to manage that. Under preferences is where we can make adjustments to the display and the thermostat itself, how bright it is, how quickly it goes into standby mode. Uh, there's also another place that you can set the presets here. Uh, so again, there's those three presets that we talked about earlier that are predefined but you can create your own as well. Hold action is kind of a cool feature. So if you have a regular schedule set up uh, on your thermostat for daily or weekly use, you can also manually set a different temperature and the hold action kind of determines how long it's gonna hold that temperature before it returns to its regular schedule. By default, it's actually set to manual. So you'll actually have to uh, remove the hold on that uh, temporary temperature, otherwise it will just keep that indefinitely. Under advanced is where we can make manual calibrations to the temperature and humidity if you needed to, as well as look at the current filter status, which I really feel like that should be on the main screen, uh, just so you don't have to go looking for it. The usage dashboard is uh, kind of cool as well if you want to look at historical data on your usage. Uh, you can do day, week, month, or even year. You have the ability to add additional Meros temp sensors around the house to help keep better track of how the AC is performing. Other than that, you have all of your device info and firmware information down here at the bottom. That's everything you can do in the app itself. Let's move on to the next step and we'll get this thermostat set up uh, in HomeKit and Home Assistant using Matter. First, let's start by adding to HomeKit. It's pretty simple since Meros is really already set up for HomeKit. We basically are just going to go straight into the Apple HomeKit app We'll hit that plus in the top corner and then under add accessory, we just want to hit the more options. We just want to hit more options and we're going to scroll down to the bottom where we should see the thermostat. And you can see we got smart Wi-Fi thermostat there so we can hit add to home. We'll give it a few seconds to work its magic. And boom, now we can add a location if we want. Mine is located in the hallway, so I can go ahead and create a new location here since I don't have that one already. Once we do that, we can change the name if we want. I'm gonna stick with Meros Thermostat like I did before. We're done. It's now added into HomeKit. And you can see here, it shows all the info just like we saw in the Meros app. Everything looks pretty good. We're good to go. But say we want to add it into Home Assistant as well. Should still be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we're going to start out in the Meros app under linked services. So we're going to click on link a new service here and then share with a pairing code. Now we're going to copy that code at this point, we're ready to jump over into Home Assistant and in our Matter Device section, we're going to click on Add Device. We will say Already in Use and then we'll click on Other Controllers here and now we can paste in that pairing code that we just copied. We will give it a second to connect and boom, it's now added to Home Assistant as well. We'll go ahead and adjust the name just to match everything else. We'll say Maros Thermostat. And then you can see we get all of that same info here as well. So we got humidity sensor, temp sensor, and then of course we have the thermostat controls as well. We now have it added into HomeKit and Home Assistant. It was super easy to do. Let's go ahead and move on to the last section and I will give you my final thoughts. All 
right, so the Meros Smart Wi-Fi Thermostat. This thing is pretty awesome. I mean, not only is it a smart Wi-Fi thermostat, but it's matter enabled as well. So you'll be able to incorporate it with all of your other matter devices, whether it's HomeKit or Home Assistant or some other matter enabled hub, this will do the trick. And you guys saw how easy it was to install. I mean, super easy. One thing I will note is make sure you label your thermostat wires just to make sure that you don't miss plug any wires in, everything gets connected. It's so much easier whenever you're hooking in the wires uh, to already have them labeled and know exactly where they go. And don't fret if you have an older uh, HVAC or thermostat and you don't have that C-wire, they do make adapters. You can search for them on Amazon. They're super easy to find. They will work with this thermostat. Um, so you do have the capability to use one of those if you need to. As you can see, there's tons of features with this. You have the auto mode, which allows you to not have to set either heat or cool mode. You just set it to auto and it will transition between those as it needs to, which is pretty cool. And then of course you can do the schedules as well, which allow you uh, to basically just set it for whatever time of day and what temperature you want, and it will take care of the rest for you. If you are looking at getting one, remember I would probably purchase it from SwitchBot directly. It seems to be a little bit cheaper on their website versus Amazon. Again, that was at the time of recording this, so feel free to check it out on Amazon just to make sure. But if you're looking for a smart thermostat or maybe just upgrading your existing smart thermostat, then you're gonna wanna take a look at this thermostat for the price and all the features, it's definitely worth it. I'll have links to Maros's website as well as their Amazon storefront in the description below. If you're not interested in this particular product, head over there, see what else they have to offer. I guarantee you'll find something that you do like. Thank you everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, head over to Rush Printing Merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for the latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Snowman. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over there and see what specials they currently have running. If you're looking for the latest smart window treatment, you're going to want to check out Smart Wings. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. Head over there and see what specials they currently have running. If you're in need of SIM cards for all of your IoT smart home gear, then you're going to want to check out EIT Club. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over there and see what deals they have running on their SIM card plans. And we can't forget about Eufy. Just like I said, with the SIM cards, Eufy has tons of 4G cameras and other products that are great for your smart home. You're going to want to check them out. I'll have a link in the description below. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, you're going to want to check out Robinhood. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. And if you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. And we can't forget about the need for securing your internet traffic. And no better way to do that than Provido VPN. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over there and see what specials they currently have running on their VPN service. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. If there are any videos out there that you want to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.